Hello friends, welcome to my channel Plant Science for You. Today we will talk about spectrophotometer, its principles of working, different components, application and difference between spectrophotometer and colorimeter. Spectrophotometer is an instrument that measures the intensity of light at various wavelengths in the electromagnetic spectrum. It is commonly used for analyzing the properties of a given sample as its concentration or purity using absorbance or transmission of light by a sample. Basic Principle of a Spectrophotometer The basic principle of a spectrophotometer is to pass a beam of light through a sample and measure the amount of light that is absorbed by the sample at each wavelength. The amount of light absorbed is then used to determine the concentration of a particular substance in the sample. Working Principle of Spectrophotometer The working principle of a spectrophotometer is based on the Beer-Lambert Law, which states that the absorbance of a sample is directly proportional to its concentration and the path length of the light through the sample. That is, A is equal to epsilon CL, where A is absorbance, epsilon is the molar absorption coefficient, C is molar concentration, and L is optical path length. Different components of spectrophotometer. The components of a spectrophotometer include a light source, a monochromator, a sample holder, a detector, and a display unit. Types of spectrophotometers. There are several types of spectrophotometers, including UV-Vis spectrophotometers, infrared spectrophotometers, atomic absorption spectrophotometers, and fluorescent spectrophotometers. 1. UV-Vis spectrophotometers are used to measure the absorbance or transmittance of samples in the UV and visible range. 2. Infrared spectrophotometers are used to measure the absorbance or transmittance of samples in the infrared range. 3. Atomic absorption spectrophotometers are used to measure the concentration of metal ions in a sample. 4. Fluorescence spectrophotometers are used to measure the fluorescence emitted by a sample when excited by light of a specific wavelength. Applications of spectrophotometers Spectrophotometers have a wide range of applications in various fields such as chemistry, biology, physics, and environmental science. They are used to measure the concentration of analytes in a sample, to determine the purity of a substance, to identify the presence of impurities in a sample, and to study the electronic structure of molecules. Spectrophotometers are also used in the pharmaceutical industry to develop and test new drugs, in the food industry to analyze the composition of food products, and in the environmental science to monitor the quality of air and water. Difference between spectrophotometer and colorimeter. Both spectrophotometers and colorimeters are analytical instruments used to measure the absorbance or transmittance of a sample. However, there are some differences between the two instruments. 1. Principle of operation spectrophotometers typically have a wider range of wavelengths than colorimeters, and they can measure in the UV, visible, and near-infrared regions of the electromagnetic spectrum. Colorimeters, on the other hand, are limited to a specific range of visible wavelengths. 2. Sensitivity spectrophotometers are generally more sensitive than colorimeters because they measure the entire spectrum of light at each wavelength whereas colorimeters only measure a narrow band of light. 3. Accuracy spectrophotometers are typically more accurate than colorimeters because they measure the entire spectrum of light and can compensate for any interfering substances or impurities in the sample. Colorimeters are generally less accurate because they only measure a narrow band of light. 4. Cost spectrophotometers are generally more expensive than colorimeters because of their wider range of wavelengths and higher sensitivity. In summary, while both spectrophotometers and colorimeters are used to measure the absorbance or transmittance of a sample, the main difference between the two is in their operating principle, range of wavelengths, sensitivity, accuracy, and cost. Spectrophotometers are typically more versatile and accurate, but they are also more expensive, whereas colorimeters are more affordable but limited in their capabilities. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe the channel and if you like the video, please like and share with your friends.